welcome to this month's Two Minute Tip. If you've had any touch points with the ENL program here at Notre Dame, you already know how important it is to avoid renaming English learners when they enter our schools. It's so easy for Leo to become Leo or Jorge to be renamed George, not to mention names we might find difficult to decode, like Itzul. So today, we're gonna take a look at a voice recording strategy that not only helps us learn how to pronounce our students' names, but also helps other adults in our buildings learn to do so as well. As we usher in another school year, it's the perfect time to remember why pronouncing students' names correctly is so important. First, it's a sign of our deep respect for who our students are inside and outside of school. It also fosters a genuine sense of belonging for who they are in our classrooms. And finally, it exemplifies that we as teachers are language learners too, and that we recognize pronunciation can be detailed and tricky, but of course, we persist. The strategy we recommend is to create and catalog voice recordings of your students pronouncing their own names. Or a variation can be asking a parent on a back to school night, for example, to record themselves pronouncing their child's name. So how do we make this easy on teachers? Well, one example might be to create a flip grid in which students pronounce their names for you. But another even easier way is to use a free online voice recorder like Vocaroo. A student can record his or her name two to three times, and Vocaroo will produce a unique link for each recording, which you can practice again and again. Let's examine what this looks like in a living, breathing classroom. Mrs. Santiago has pulled up Vocaroo.com and invited Atsiri to use her computer to capture a short recording of her voice saying her first name. She simply hits the microphone icon and pronounces her name three times. Atsiri, can you go ahead and say your name three times into the computer for me, please? Atsiri, Atsiri, Atsiri. Very good. She clicks Save and Share, and Vocaroo creates a unique link of her voice recording that Mrs. Santiago can listen to to practice. We generally advise that students only record their first names to be extra careful about guarding privacy. If you want to capture a student's last name, ask them to record a separate link. Now let's take a look at applications for using this voice recording strategy. Mrs. Santiago put Atsidi's link into a document with all of her students' names on it. She can now listen to and practice pronouncing the names of her students over and over again by clicking the link. Atsidi, Atsidi, Atsidi. She can also share these links, very importantly, with Atsidi specials, teachers, coaches, and other staff that might need help learning to pronounce her name correctly too. And because Mrs. Santiago is an amazing ENL teacher, she also recognizes that she can create links of herself pronouncing difficult words or spelling lists or sentence stems that her own students can use to work on their own pronunciation. We encourage you to make it a goal this school year to pronounce your students' names in the same way that their families do. We have other great two-minute tips about how to honor the rich identities and linguistic skills of your students, and we've linked them to the end of this video. From everyone in the ENL team, blessings upon your school year, and a special thank you to the Indiana ENL teacher who made us aware of using these voice recordings in such meaningful ways. Keep up your good and important work.